Hey everybody. Oh, this is upside down. Okay, start now. Hi everybody, this is a, uh, a HP DV9, DV9000, okay, one of my um, uh, people on uh, YouTube had stated that this is too dark to see, so I'm going to do my best. I have sold some, sold some stuff on eBay, the CD-ROM drive is out. That's the, uh, that's the uh, screw you want to take out to actually remo remove it and then um, pop it back in and put the screw back in. Uh, the battery has gone. You would pop the battery out before you do any maintenance. Open any of these panels. Okay, so first I'm going to go over here to the hard drive. Now, uh, mind you that the hard drive has been removed. I do have another hard drive to show you that's actually bad. So uh, there's a pretty cool little feature of this laptop. Now when you take this panel off, these two screws hold this guy down. And when you pull this that way, we're going that way to the right, these two little clips underneath are revealed and then you have to pick up the back, go back and then pick it up because it has to un unclip from uh, from here. Alright, uh, the SATA plugs. Now, the hard drive that I'm using is bad, has bad sectors, but it's still good for uh, actually reading uh, reading things. Uh, it would be in something like this, okay, where the screws would be in those holes right there. You'd pop four screws out and replace your hard drive. I'm going to take the hard drive back out now. Um, now, what's really nice about this um, is on this side, all right, I already removed the screws. You have another bay over here, but they don't give you a rack, a hard drive rack. So you have to figure out how to get it to stay in there or buy another rack. Alright, so uh, I could probably sell this on eBay too. Don't know how much I would get for it or if it's even worth it with the shipping. But anyway, it has two bays for hard drives. So you can boot up to Windows on one and Ubuntu on the other or save all your data on one, have your operating system on other. I think that's a really cool feature. When your hard drive is back in this, you want to take your tabs and slide them underneath. There's an area underneath there that you're going to slide them all the way down. Make sure both of them gets in there. This is a very tight fit, so you have to kind of wiggle it to go down. And you're going to take your tab here and pull it forward. All right, so uh, so um, so it's going to be lodged in. The screws will go through the holes up, up here when you're installing. Okay, and I'm using one hand for this. So just uh, get them lined up and then put this guy down and the screws will hold it back in. Uh, I'm going to come over here to the RAM and now I have taken the, um, this is uh, old RAM, not the original that's in here. Uh, this this um, has been pulled out because you can use this on other laptops and computers, uh, all-in-one, like that all-in-one that's over there. Um, the only thing is when you put this in, you have to go to HP's website and download the drivers for an HP uh, 9000, okay? Uh, otherwise it won't work. Alright, there's only one screw that holds this down. You gotta remember where the two wires hook up. The two wires are very easy. They pop on, pop or pop off, pop on. The BIOS battery has a plug here, you have to wiggle it, grab grab the bottom, never grab just the wires. Grab the bottom down here. This has a sticker underneath it. Alright, and you can replace this. This has to be uh pur purchased uh either from HP or somebody else that uh supplies these kind of batteries because you can't just throw a battery in there and hope it works. Okay, it has to plug into that plug. So so uh, the RAM, uh, there's two clips, one on each side. Uh, I'm going to try and do this with one hand. There you go. Pops up. You take it out. You put it back in. You put it in the same spot. Set it all the way down and push it down. I'm telling you right now, if you boot this up and you get a beep, 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 that means you're CD, uh, your uh, memory chips are not seated all the way down. All right, go ahead and pop your panels back in. Screw them all the way down. Put all your panels on. You got to remember which is which, right? If you're doing this, so uh, put your panels. Screw them all the way down. The bigger ones on this side. Screw them all the way down, and you're all done. So boot it up, and uh, you have to reload your operating system. So you have to go to HP's website, uh, order your restore CDs unless you made them because they don't come with them anymore. All right. So don't forget to make your restore CDs when you buy your computer. And uh, take a look at some of my uh, um, videos on how to clone your hard drive. All right, there uh, there's a few of them on on uh, YouTube right now. 
Uh, so some ideas on how to maintain your computer and this HP DV9000. Subscribe if you want. Bye.